Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Today, this is the Val Derbebe Show, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio today with me? Uh, hi, I'm Jamie Stone. I'm a beauty blogger. And I'm Jill Crosby, and I'm a celebrity hairstylist. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I was told that you guys got your fame through the Internet and technology. Is that true? <laughs> well, that would be Jamie's fame, <laughs> yes. Yes, fame. Jamie's <laughs> okay, so Jamie, I, I put out that you guys were coming today. My Facebook audience wants to know, how'd you do that? Well, um, I, yeah, I just, I love beauty products. I started out doing uh, marketing on the beauty side of things, and I love writing, so I just started a blog. Uh, it'll be 10 years, actually, in April. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just kind of got in early stages, and, you know, it's important to have a passion for something. So that's kind of how it, it happened. <laughs> passion will take you guys a long way. Let me ask you, so what's hot and what's not? Somebody want to start for me? Well, in reference to the red carpet, the Oscars, it was a, it was a very hot carpet. Um, you know, it was very new and kind of a modern carpet. Usually the spin on the Oscars is that you save the Oscars for your really classic updos. Um, and the other award ceremonies kind of go a little funkier. But this year, what I saw was a lot of new shapes kind of coming in, a lot of edgier, youthful looks, which was really a lot of fun. And I think a lot of women at home are going to be excited to try some of those things themselves. Um, however, women with thin or thinning hair at home are obviously going to um, have a bigger challenge when it comes to getting red carpet hair. So my advice to them is that you kind of start at the base, which is always with a great cut. So talking to a stylist, working with a stylist, and building a cut that creates weight and dimension is always something important for a woman with thinning hair, maybe even layering into it so that you can get those really pretty soft red carpet waves. You know, and then you can translate into color. Yeah, I think color, especially for me, is you know really important because uh, as a blonde, the blonde actually adds t texture and dimension to the cuticle, so my hair looks thicker, um, and it can really do a lot just to kind of add that dimension to thinning hair. Yeah, and it actually also builds, it blows out the cuticle a little bit, so it actually yeah. does create a little bit of volume. So someone who has thinning hair, that's kind of a quicker, more instant way of gaining a little bit of volume, and I always start prepping my uh, people for the carpet with product to, to build the volume. So mousses, root lifters, dry shampoos, those are all ways to create instant volume as well. And again, those are also temporary ways to create volume. So um, if I'm working with a client who has thin or thinning hair, then I'm gonna start a conversation about a treatment. And women's Rogaine Foam is really the only treatment that I recommend. It's the only once a day 5% minoxidil that's FDA approved to regrow hair on the market. Um, so it's an invaluable tool for a hairdresser to offer to her clients. And um, I find it very, very helpful. And that's actually how I met Jamie. Yeah, I went to Jill because I wanted, you know, a kind of a hair makeover. I wanted to get a better cut and better color to, to make my hair look as thick and full as possible. And Jill recommended that I also start the Women's Rogaine Foam Treatment. Uh, I've been using it for the past year and I've seen some really awesome results. Uh, it started around three months and now that it's been over a year, I see excellent results. So yeah, it's great because you just, you use it once a day and it fits into your beauty regimen pretty simply. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah. so she recommended it. I was and it's happy. really easy to get. You can get it over the counter. counter. You can get it at Walgreens. It's yeah. non-prescription. So it's easy to find. And, uh, you know, another thing that's important to know is that, as you can see, Jamie's a young lady, um, it doesn't, thinning hair, thin and thinning hair, hereditary hair loss doesn't happen to 
only maturing women. It can happen in your 20s. It can happen very young. So to keep an eye out for that and to start women's Rogaine foam treatment early is really the best way to get the regrowth results that you're, you're hoping for to get that carpet hair. What about a healthy lifestyle? What does that play? How does that play into it? Oh, incredibly. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, for me, just because I know, um, you know, how important actually what you eat is also for your hair. I eat a lot of protein. I take iron supplements just to make sure that my hair is going to grow in as strong and thick as it can. And then the women's Rogaine makes up for anything that, you know, the intestinal stuff can't do. All right, ladies, you guys got a plan there. And <laughs> once again, they can get the product where and where would you send them online? Uh, you can go to womensrogaine.com and Jill and I both have videos up there as well, kind of giving tips and tricks and some tutorials. All right, ladies. Thank you so much. You millennials are just hot. I love it. <laughs> Thanks Thank for you. having us. Thanks for being my guest today on the Belder BB Show. Thank you.